Welcome back to another episode of Consciously Clueless. I'm your host, Carly, and I'll be your guide on this journey from consciousness to cluelessness and back around again. Thanks for joining me for another Sunday solo episode. Whether it's Sunday night and you're gearing up for your week, Monday morning and you're on your way to work, or whatever day this podcast has found you, I'm really glad you're here. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. Is there something interfering with your happiness or is it preventing you from achieving your goals? By now, you all know that therapy is an important part of my self-care. It has truly been a game changer in every aspect of my life. BetterHelp is the largest online counseling platform worldwide. They are changing the way people get help with facing life's challenges by providing convenient, discreet, and affordable access to a licensed therapist. BetterHelp makes professional counseling available anytime, anywhere, through a computer, tablet, or smartphone. You can start communicating within 48 hours. It's not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It is professional counseling done securely online. And I have a special offer for you. Visit BetterHelp.com Carly and join the over million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. By using this code, you get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp.com slash Carly. Take care of yourself today. Thanks again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this podcast. So today I wanted to talk about something that I have been using in my own life a lot lately. I remember hearing about this idea on a podcast a while back, actually, on Dak Shepard's podcast, which if you know me, you know that I love. It was when Kristen Bell was on, which is even better. But this idea of having a list, a list of things that help your day to go better, or a list of things that can boost your mood, that contribute to positive mental health? What are your go-tos that if you are having a bad day, you can pause and say, have I done anything off this list or have I done as many things off this list as I need to? And oftentimes if we're in stress or feeling anxious or whatever it is, there's probably a good chance that you didn't do as many of those things yet today or that day, whenever you're imagining this. I like to think of it as my, kind of my happy list. It's the things that will move me closer to joy. It doesn't mean that doing one thing off that list is going to automatically make me blissed out in that moment, but it is leading me towards joy and happiness. So I kind of like that idea of just like, it's just like the happy list. Like, have I checked these things? So let me give you a few examples on my list. You can probably guess a few of them. First thing, and these are in no particular order, but first thing is meditation or maybe just say mindfulness practice because that has become a really crucial part of tapping into my inner knowing and quieting down and trying to figure out what I need and listen to my body and my mind more. So that is huge. Another one, moving my body, some sort of movement, a run, a bike ride, even if it's 10 minutes of dancing, if it's yoga, anything. I need to move my body in some sort of way. It affects everything. Another thing is there are probably probably like a top five or a top ten maybe list of YouTube videos that I will watch again and again and again because they make me belly laugh. And sometimes I just go to those videos. One of my absolute go-tos is... Chris Pratt bloopers from Parks and Rec. I've probably mentioned this before, but that is my go-to. I will watch, it's like a 10-minute video. I will watch that video again and again, 
and it will never not make me laugh. It will never not make me laugh. So sometimes it can be as simple as watching a favorite video, or maybe you have a favorite comedian you can look up. Something that is going to make you laugh. Like, have you had the opportunity to just laugh deep from your gut? That is on my list because I know that can increase those happy feelings literally in our brain. Another one for me is dancing, and that kind of goes under movement, but it's more, it's less worrying about my body and moving my body that day, and more about kind of just goofing around, turning on fun songs, getting me out of my head, dancing around, just acting free and not caring. That is definitely on the list as well. That is something I can reach for if I need a boost. Sometimes if I'm tired in the afternoon, I'm feeling a little afternoon slump once in a while, I will literally put on a playlist that is 90s hip hop and just go for it. And it is lovely. One of my last top ones would be reaching out to a few select friends. So there's those friends you have, I hope you have, I trust you have, that you can reach out to and not worry about what they think. No judgment comes back. You can say anything. I have a couple of those friends I'm so fortunate to be able to reach out to and just say, I'm feeling really low today. And that has been a game changer for me. I've talked about that in some of the past episodes talking about mental health is just being okay to say to someone like, hey, I'm having a bad day and I just want to name it and tell someone. Um, And that is on my happy list too. And it might sound a little sad, but I think it makes me feel like I'm moving towards joy because I'm letting go of some of it. I'm allowing someone to know I'm having a hard time and that kind of makes it okay. And then I'm not beating myself up about it anymore. So that's on my list of things to bring joy, things to move towards happy as well. Another key one for me is have I nourished my body? Have I given my body good nourishment that it needs and deserves? And sometimes if I'm not in a super stable place, I'm not always hungry. But if I can get myself to eat something even small that has really good nourishment, then that will make a huge difference potentially in how I feel. And I get that feeling of being proud of myself, like, oh, good. Okay, you know what? You gave yourself a nutritious, beautiful lunch, and you really needed that. That moves me towards happy because I'm like, oh, good. I'm, I'm, I'm taking care of myself. Okay, I can do this. I'm doing a good job again. I'm, I'm moving in the right direction. And another one, I will give you a seventh one because this list, hopefully for everyone, can go on and on and on if you really start to think about it. Or maybe you can learn to add things to this list. My last one would be making sure I've taken my medication and or vitamins or any herbs I'm taking at the time because that is a huge part of my mental and physical health and that will affect how I feel and that will move me towards happy if I am giving my body what it needs right now. So it occurred to me now that I'm talking about this out loud, I need to write this list down. This is something that's just been kind of floating in my head after I heard Kristen Bell talk about it on Dax Shepard's podcast. I want to, you know what? I'm going to make a self-care sheet. And if you are a Patreon member, you will be familiar. I'm doing more self-care where you get to kind of get something out of it every week. So there's been worksheets to help you define a morning routine, evening routine. Anyway, I'm going to create a printout or you can do it online. And you are going to list all the things that move you towards happy. And I'm going to do the same. And I'll print it out. And I'll have it by my desk. Because then, when you're having a hard moment, when you're having a hard day, you can literally look at the list and say, have I done enough of these things? Or what on this list, right in front of me, can I do that'll move me towards happy? We are going to make happy lists. So if you want to be a part of this... You need to be on Patreon. Head over to patreon.com slash consciouslycarly. 
if you want in on doing this a part of the community. Of course you can, and I would encourage you to do it on your own. But if you want to do it in community and use a fun printout or images that I'm going to send out, then you can join on Patreon. So that will be really fun. But I want to hear from you all too. What is on your happy list? What are things that move you towards happy if you're having a rough day? What's on your list? I want to hear. Thanks for listening to another episode of Consciously Clueless. If you enjoyed this episode, hit subscribe wherever you're listening. If you want to help me get this into the ears of more listeners, send it to a friend, text it to a family member, share on social media, whatever you can do really helps me out. If you haven't yet, head over to consciouslycarly.com slash courses and check out the new self-love reset course. It's a really cool online program, seven days right to your email. Just check in with yourself. Give yourself some more love. We all need that. And don't forget to join on Patreon, patreon.com slash consciouslycarly. Until next time.